out of cream for your coffee, putting Dulce de Leche ice cream in it is a good idea. Hi, I'm Bridget Dale again. Woo! Something interesting this week in the news. There was a story about how digital media is changing our brains. I don't know why I looked so happy when I said that. It's not happy news. And it's not that crazy of an idea. I mean, let's say you spent two hours doing crunches every day. Your body would look different after a couple months. Not especially better, just different. Personally, I don't do two hours of crunches every day, but I do spend several hours a day doing this. It probably makes my hands look different than they would if I wasn't on the computer so much. Different like super buff. And, according to this new research, it also makes my brain look different. It seems that our brains, like muscles, bulk up in the parts that we use. To get kind of technical, whenever you do something, you're strengthening the neural pathways it takes to do that something. But this research says... Seriously? That's where you want to sleep, okay. But the bad news is this research says that we, like humanity, are focusing so much on all these tech skills that have come up in the last generation that we're, quote, drifting away from fundamental social skills. It's one of the biggest changes they've seen in the human brain ever, or at least ever since we've been thinking about our own brains. They're separating us into two groups, what they're calling digital natives and digital immigrants. So the digital natives have been exposed to technology since birth and they're really good at making fast decisions and multitasking several techie things at once and stuff. That's me. Then there's the other group, the digital immigrants. They're much slower at Facebook, but better at other things like reading facial expressions. Oh, that's kind of better. So maybe it's an attempt to compensate, and I'm not the only one who does this. Sometimes when I'm watching a movie or reading a story online or watching something online, I realize I'm matching the facial expressions with my face. It's embarrassing if you're not alone. If I was like an alien watching me from outer space, I would think, that's kind of sad. Cause yeah, I'd be a sensitive alien. The good news is they say it's not a lost cause. If you make a point to keep using your social skills in addition to your tech skills, they won't go away. And grandma can get really fast at Facebook too, if she wants to. She just spends enough time on there poking people but basically use it or lose it. You need to use your actual social skills to keep your social skills. Don't emulate the social skills you see on the hills. Fun as that might look. I don't know what's going on over on their hill, but I'm like one hill over from them and it's not like that here. Maybe that one hill has something in the water. I drive around it when I go places. See you Friday.